Hey guys, right before I get into this video, I want to remind you guys about the huge giveaway that I'm doing with another YouTuber, and all you have to do to enter is first, go ahead and like this video, second, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications, after that, go down to the first link in the description where you can enter yourself into the giveaway, and once you've done everything, comment down below, say that you did everything, and then you are officially entered into this giveaway. Good luck to everyone, and let's get right into the video. Hey guys, it's Baby Kendall here from Past Use By, and welcome to a brand new Clash of Clans video. Today we're going to be talking about geared up defenses and whether they are worth it for your home village. So most of you probably already know this, but uh, if you have been doing the builder base, let's go over to our, our builder base real quick. Uh, if you've been doing it and you upgrade your double cannon up to level 4, or your archer tower up to level 6, and I haven't done that yet, you can actually have the opportunity to gear up one of your cannons and gear up one of your archer towers respectively uh, on your home village. So I've got my double cannon to level four and I've already geared up one of my cannons right here uh, to a double cannon essentially. So I can switch it on and off between a regular cannon and a double cannon. So what we're gonna talk about in this video is should you spend the gold and should you spend the upgrade time to get this geared up defense whether it's this cannon or whether it's the archer tower uh because if you guys didn't know it's not a regular builder from your home village that does this gearing up the master builder from the builder base actually has to come over and do this gearing up for you so you can't just have a regular builder doing this is a disadvantage because you only have one builder available in your builder base so if this master builder comes over here and does this gearing up which by the way the cannon takes two days to gear up and the arch tower is even worse it takes seven days to gear up which is completely ridiculous so during that period of time you literally cannot make any progress on your builder base because you can't upgrade anything because you don't have a builder because uh, the builder is all the way over here gearing up your defense so there's that time issue with it and also the cost it's 1.5 million gold for a cannon and 4 million for an archer tower that's significant and uh, we're going to talk about whether it's worth it or not Do, does does the extra stats that you get from a geared up defense outweigh the cost and the time? So let's go ahead and take a look. So I already have the double cannon here so I can show you guys an example. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the info of this thing. So this is the double cannon. Uh, it has a burst fire of four shots and each hit does 64 damage. So if we do four times 64, that's approximately uh, 250. I'm going to say around that 256 actually is the exact amount. So 256 damage uh, for every four shots that it does, which is essentially, um, I believe it shoots every like one second or two seconds, something like that. I'll put up the exact information on the screen. But yeah, we got 256 for this one. And we move over to the regular cannon uh, with no gear up and it does 80 damage per second. Uh, so obviously the cannon does less damage than the double cannon uh, per second. However, the cannon does have two tiles of extra range. It's nine tiles compared to the double cannon, seven tiles. Uh, so does this longer range make a difference? I mean, yes, it does. Uh, if I have, look at this, you can see that's a significant change right there. You can really see the difference uh, between these two as far as range goes. And also a disadvantage of the double cannon uh, which is a huge con of it, is that it has to use all four of its burst fire shots on a single target. So for example, uh, if there's four wall breakers, say, coming into this wall right here, uh, the double cannon can reach it right here, but it has to use all four of its burst fire shots on a single wall breaker. It can't go like one, two, three, four, kill all four wall breakers at once. No, it has to use all four hits on a single troop. Uh, so that's complete a, a completely a disadvantage because um, now it's going to be worse against smaller units like bar bards and archers, goblins, wall breakers, stuff like that. Although it's going to be slightly more effective against, say, giants, golems, uh, heroes, and other stuff like that. But remember that it does also have a smaller range. So essentially what I'm trying to say here is that, no, it, geared up defenses are definitely not worth it. Not only do they take up a ton of time, uh, two days for the double cannon seven days for the archer tower gear up um it's just not worth it at all you can't make any progress on your builder base while your master builder is over here during the gear up and uh you can't even use the clock tower boost time it doesn't affect 
even the master builder in the home village, which is ridiculous. And also, even when you're gearing it up, it costs a ton to gear up. 1.5 million gold for the double cannon, 4 million for the archer tower gear up, and you're not even getting uh, that better of a defense. It does, yeah, maybe it does like around twice as much damage per second, but it has a smaller range, and it has to use all four of its burst fire shots on a single target. So... You know, I wouldn't recommend it at all. I just did it because, you know, why not? I didn't know, actually, that the Master Builder came to do this. I thought it was one of our regular builders in the home village. Uh, but, you know, it was only two days. It wasn't that bad. But Archer Tower, that's seven days, you know. Definitely, I would not recommend gearing up defenses unless you're doing it to show off or doing it for, like, a YouTube video or something like I did. And, um, yeah, so I uh, hope you guys, like, understand my reasoning here. Now, I mean, there are a few advantages, but the, definitely the disadvantages outweigh the advantages. So until Supercell changes something uh, about this gearing up process, I would not recommend gearing up your defenses in your home village. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something from this video. And as always, make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe for more Clash of Clans content. You'll never miss a thing, single thing about Clash of Clans news, updates, announcements, and strategy if you subscribe to my channel. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.